Hello everybody and welcome to the Wellness Way Lab Series. My name is Dr. Patrick Flynn and our value today that we're going to talk about is LDL. It stands for low density lipoprotein that way. Now if we look at some of the past videos, we've had a lot of controversial ones and give you an example like TSH. If you haven't watched that video, please go back and watch that because as you can see, I got probably one of the most emails when we did that one because there's some misleading information when it dealt with TSH. Well, probably the biggest misconception there is out there today is LDL. Now, as I said before in my past TSH video, TSH is not a thyroid hormone. TSH is a pituitary hormone. LDL is not a cholesterol. So let me say that again. LDL is not a cholesterol. Look at the name itself. It stands for low density lipoprotein. It's a protein carrier. It's a transport carrier. You're going to see some other videos that are even done by our other docs that talk about other transport proteins. For example, there's one called TBG, thyroid binding globulin. There's also one called sex hormone binding globulin. They carry hormones through the body. So they're transport proteins that take something from one part and put it to another. Guess what happens? LDL is the same thing. It's a transport protein. But they have, they have classified that, go on every medical website. They've classified it as bad cholesterol. Guys, listen, stay again. It's gonna be up on the screen right here. LDL is not cholesterol. You have one molecule of cholesterol. That's it. There's not HDL, there's not LDL cholesterol, there's, there's not total cholesterol, there's just cholesterol. LDL has nothing to do with being a cholesterol. Now on the flip side, what it does though, it is that transport protein. Now I say, doc, what do you mean a transport protein? Well, remember, cholesterol is needed in almost every hormone production there is. It's needed in tissue regeneration. That means if I cut my finger, I need cholesterol to produce that tissue cell. If I am stressed out or if I go for a run or if I do a workout or if you do something that there's a demand for hormones, LDL has to take that, that cholesterol and carry it to the available area it's needed. If it's an adrenal, it's gonna bring it there. If it's my finger, it's gonna bring it here. And the transport protein is actually called LDL, low density lipoprotein that way. So just remember, LDL is not a cholesterol, it's needed. So you say, doc, but then how the heck did they come up with LDL contributes to heart disease? Well, I wanna give you a scenario. I want you to picture this. If we, have, if we need a ton of hormone, guess what happens? Our demands for hormones are gonna go up. Or if our hormones in our body drop down, guess what? LDL has to rise to actually allow it to do what? To get out to the organ so we can produce more hormone. Now, second of all, you say, doc, but wait, they took a study and they saw that people had heart disease, that they had majority of them had high LDL. I don't disagree with that. Here, here let me ask you a question. If you have damage to your heart, are you gonna need more tissue repair, more hormones to recover from that inflammatory damage? Yes, so I want more LDL out there. I want more cholesterol metabolized out into our system. See, the medical philosophy is totally wrong. See, LDL, for example, is only made by your liver. You cannot eat LDL. It's only made by your liver. So I have a question, and I'm gonna put it right up here, okay? Let me see a question. When did your liver start making bad stuff for your heart? I like, Doc, that doesn't make any sense. Well, think about it. If HDL and LDL, the primary LDL, are only made by your liver, when did your liver start making a transport protein that destroys your heart? And I know you're thinking going, that's a really good question. Well, see, the, the idea, for example, is ludicrous. It makes no sense. And they've convinced with fantastic advertising to say that LDL, for example, is a cholesterol. It's not a cholesterol. It's a transport protein. So I want to beat that into your head. And see, if you go back to our TSH video, the reason why that was so controversial is because that's their standard for the thyroid. LDL is their standard for heart disease. And they've been yelling and screaming it for the last since 1984 at a really high level of how bad it, it cholesterol is, yet the funny part is LDL is not even a cholesterol, okay? Now you go back and look at our HDL video, go back and look at our cholesterol video, you can see what those properties are for. But once again, I want to put this into your head. LDL is a transport protein that takes cholesterol to the needed area of the body. It's only produced by the liver, we can't eat LDL, so our body only increases it and decreases it when there is a need in their body. So when you get that lipid panel, do me a favor, look at it. And if you see LDL has increased above to a level that's not good, the first question you should be asking yourself is, why did my body raise it? There has to be a need in my body that needs repair. So once again, LDL, not a cholesterol. You want to actually look at it from that standpoint because it's a 
transport protein to carry cholesterol through our body. It's a wonderful way. LDL is needed for every part of our body for us to help and repair and grow and, and, and to be able to get hormone production that way. It's a very valuable part. It's not, it's not bad. Just remember that. It's not bad. But if it elevates, there, there is a need for the body. We've got to figure out. And that's the way the Wellness Way approach is so different that way. So once again, LDL, well, thank you for attending our Wellness Way Lab Series. My name is Dr. Patrick Flynn. Have a beautiful day.